Foam Fractionation Foam fractionation is the removal of dissolved organic and inorganic compounds from the dirty water by raising a column of foam. The foam traps the dissolved organic and inorganic compounds and these are removed with the foam. It also provides increased aeration. Protein skimmer, a form of mechanical filtration, is an instrument used to create foam fractionation. Example, mechanism of protein skimmer, milk which is a mixture of water and dissolved proteins is taken in a container when we create bubbles in the milk, it results raising foams out of the container. It carries the protein particles in the milk as foam. This is a mechanism in which our protein skimmer works. We have to design our protein skimmer as a conical flask and provide air bubbles that help the skimmer to pick up all the dissolved solids as foam. It is a mechanical method in which the sieve is used to separate suspended solids from the water. Foam Fractionation Protein Skimmer In the market, we can find different protein skimmers. We can also make it on our own using PVC pipes. All skimmers work only on this same and simple mechanism. It uses most commonly two forms. 1. Cross current. 2. Co current. Cross current. In the cross current protein skimmer, the air bubbles and the water flow are in different directions. For example in this, we can find that the water flows from the top of the skimmer and remains at the bottom, whereas it generates air bubbles from the bottom of the skimmer and moves to the top, because of its density difference. The air bubbles pick up the fine solids in the water, and move up to the neck and foams out the solid particles. We must take note and clean away the foam on a daily basis. We call this mechanism of removing solids as cross-current configuration. Co-current. The other form we are using is co-current protein skimmers in which the air bubbles and the water flows in the same direction. In this, the pumps carry the water and it passes through the venturi. Venturi is the device used to collect air. It sucks air from the outer atmosphere. The water and air mixture flows into the skimmer. The water moves up along with the air bubbles. The air bubbles pick up all the dissolved solid particles in the water. It foams them out in the cup at the top. This process slows down the water flow, and the purified water is passed out of the skimmer at the exit valve. We note this mechanism as co-current configuration. Comparing these two methods cross-current configuration is the most efficient method because of the water and the air bubble flow in different directions. To attain maximum purity of water, one has to use a secondary air pump to generate the air bubbles inside the skimmer to separate the solids. Whereas co-current configuration is cheaper to set up but it is less efficient as we generate air bubbles along with the water using a pump. Based on the requirement one has to decide the type of protein skimmer to go with. In this picture, you can see how a protein skimmer normally looks like as it is tall and larger in diameter which increases the contacting time of the air bubbles and the solids in the liquid.